putting in place the long-term transition planning that is required. Question number 11, Michael Wood. To the Minister of Commerce and Consumer Affairs, what reports has he seen on banking, culture and conduct? The Hon. Chris Farfoy. Yeah. Mr Speaker, a review of bank conduct released yesterday by the Financial Markets Authority and Reserve Bank of New Zealand has identified instances of poor conduct by staff and weaknesses in bank processes to manage them. The findings of the report are a concern to the government as we want a fair banking system that is in the interests of all New Zealanders. Although the conduct and culture issues do not appear to be widespread, there are weaknesses within bank systems and controls that have resulted in poor conduct and instances of consumer harm. Uh, this is not good enough and banks have their work cut out for them to address the problems of conduct and culture in the report and ensure New Zealanders have confidence in their banking system. Supplementary. What work is underway to provide reassurance to bank customers? Mr Speaker, we have had work underway since we came into the government um, in terms of uh, changes to the Credit Contracts and Consumer Finance Act to target irresponsible lending, the Financial Service Legislation Amendment Bill and also the Insurance Contract Law Review. We have asked officials to begin work on where we should go post the report being delivered today if we need to take further regulatory action. The government does have a role to play in strengthening the way banks conduct, uh, given their conduct within their own businesses. At the same time, the sector also needs to take a greater responsibility for ensuring that misconduct does not occur and needs to focus on long-term customer outcomes. Supplementary. What are the next steps for banks, regulators and government in response to the report's findings? Mr Speaker, the government expects to see banks proactively address the conduct and culture issues. Uh, they will be receiving an individualised work programme from regulators uh, to, and report back in March, where they must provide their plan for addressing their shortfalls. I want to see better checks and balances in place to ensure poor conduct does not continue in New Zealand banks. Mr Speaker, the bottom line is that New Zealand customers should get fair and appropriate treatment, and consumers' needs, needs should be put first. Question number 12, Chris Bishop. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Internal Affairs.